Thanks for joining me. I'm Jake from the Chasing Quality Podcast. Today I'm going to talk to you about, uh, about backpacks. This is a continuation in a, now a, a very short series on uh, my search for the perfect backpack in which to carry camera gear. Uh, I didn't want a, uh, a specific camera backpack uh, for this specific use. Uh, I wanted a multi-purpose backpack, uh, one that I could take hiking, one that I could carry various things in. Uh, I wanted to be able to carry like extra clothing for hiking. Uh, I wanted to carry water. I wanted the ability to carry a, a laptop, um, and, you know, and all that stuff. And so I was looking for the perfect camera backpack or perfect backpack for uh, you know camera gear and other stuff. Uh, I tried out a couple other uh, backpacks. Uh, regrettably, I wasn't able to do videos on those before I sent them back. I, I just didn't have the time to do it. I tried out the 511 LV18, which is a nice, very nice backpack, uh, very discreet. Um, you know, you don't really need, um, it wasn't you know, fancy looking, didn't look tactical. The problem with that one, though, is it lacked uh, any, any way to carry a, a, a water bladder. There was a, a pouch for a water bottle, but nothing for a water bladder. And generally, I'm going to be using this more for everyday carry or for, and or for backpacking, uh, for, for uh, hiking, I mean, not for, for full backpacking. The water bladder pouch was uh, very important to me. So I had to send that one back. I also tried the VanQuest Ibex 26, which is actually a really great backpack for hiking. Uh, you could probably use it for an overnight you know, camping trip. Uh, really great, um, <clears throat> had Molly all over it, uh, very flexible. But it just wasn't quite as um, it wasn't quite as camera friendly as I wanted in this backpack. It was a little bit harder to access the the lenses and the camera uh, while I was actually walking along the trail. Whereas this uh, this one that I'm going to show you, the VanQuest Trident 21, is actually really good for that. So the VanQuest Trident 21 is what won out. Let's uh, let's look at it. Let me let me throw it up here on my little desk and show you what I've got here. It's this guy, this guy right here. Um, now, uh, before we get started, I do want to address the fact that this is a very tactical looking backpack, and I think it was probably designed for partial tactical uses. Uh, I'm not a tactical guy, at least not anymore, and I don't, uh, I didn't really want something that was tactical. But the thing is that there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of use for uh, the tactical type backpacks. Having Molly on the front, Molly on the sides, you know, all of these, these, these bungee uh, straps and everything, it, it's really great and really flexible. Uh, and because I, I'm not really going to be carrying this as a business person, I'm not going to be, I might travel with it once in a while, like on a plane, but generally I'm not. I'm not really worried about the, you know, that, that tactical look, um, you know, bothering me so much. And when I'm on the trail, I, I really don't care. I would rather, honestly, I'd rather have a, a bag that looks tactical and maybe people think I'm, uh, you know, got a concealed weapon with me, uh, as opposed to uh, having a backpack that screams, I'm a camera backpack, come rob me. Uh, I really don't want that. So, um, so yeah, so that, so it is, it is kind of a little bit more geared toward, uh, you know, tactical use, but it's very, uh, I think ideal for me and what I'm going to use it for. Uh, let's, let's cover the outside real quick. So the outside, uh, on the, um, the back here, you've got, you've got Molly, Molly Webman here. So you can attach a pouch. You also have hooks or, or uh, loops here, 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 and here. So you can attach a bigger pouch on the back. You've got a handle, slash, uh, you know, loop here for, um, you know, whatever you're going you know, to do with that. Uh, big pouch here. There's a pouch here on the side, actually. Um, I don't know if this one is really designed for concealed carry. You can put concealed carry in here, although there is no hook and loop for a Velcro type of holster. Uh, but this is very large, actually. It's large enough where I could take this large lens and I could stuff it in there and close it up. Oh, I'm having trouble closing it. Uh, and close it up and put a, you know, lens in there. Uh, that's not what I would use it for, but uh, it, it is a very good size uh, pouch, uh, and it's got it's got this snap here, which is nice. So if you've got if you've got this closed, you can close this snap, and it makes it very difficult, you know, for anybody to easily open it. These snaps aren't the easiest to come off. You have to really kind of you have to really kind of pull at them um, to get them off. Uh, but that's that's a nice feature. Uh, behind behind this pouch, then you have the, you've got this bigger pouch here, your admin pouch which is uh, very nice. You've got a mesh mesh side here um, with Velcro to close that. Your pen storage or knife storage. Uh, you've got a little hook for keys and you, behind there you've got um, you know, a place to put uh, other things. Uh, this isn't a super deep pouch, but I could, in theory, take my three lenses. I wouldn't do this because it's not really a, they're not very well protected. But I could put those there and I could zip that up and I can carry my three lenses, um, I'm in trouble there, right there in the front. 
So it is a very good sized pouch. Now, if you've got the inside filled, uh, of course, that's going to press on that and it's going to reduce the amount of space you truly have in there. But it's a nice, nice sized pouch. Uh, working up to the top, uh, here you've got Velcro right here uh, with you know, some, some, some holes there so you could, you could attach other things. Uh, but uh, what I like is this, um, this cord, this elastic cord here, uh, shock cord. This is where I carry at least one tripod. If I'm carrying two tripods, I use this and I use the other side uh, pouch that, that's it's, it's really good for uh, a tripod as well. Uh, but this is nice, you can put your tripod in here or something else, cinch it down uh, and keep it nice and tight there. But behind that is a pouch right here. Um, and you've got a, <clears throat> this is a really nice pouch for, uh, it's fleece lined. So you can put your uh, glasses in here And up here you've got multiple elastic bands. You would not be able to use this for lenses. Um, it feels like maximum diameter of maybe an inch and a half uh, you could put there. But you've got one, two, three, four, four of them there. And then behind that you've got another little, um, you know, carrying pouch. So this is nice. It's, uh, you could fit, take this lens here, you could fit that there. No problem at all. So if you were carrying your 70 to 200 lens, um, then uh, it, you would easily be able to fit it in there. I mean, I've got, I've got an adapter on this, which adds another inch to it, um, but you could easily fit another two inches of lens in there. So I think, I'd have to check the measurements, but I'm pretty sure it would comfortably fit a 7200 lens. Okay, uh, let's move to this side here. <clears throat> okay, you can ignore these, these are mine. Um, <clears throat> on the side here you've got, this is where I would carry a, um, a tripod, generally, but, it's designed, I think, more for a water bottle. So this is a Camelback. Um, I don't know how many liters this is. Uh, 750 milliliters, uh, so 0.75. But it would fit, it'll fit a, a liter bottle, no problem. It just slides right in there. And then you've got another shock cord here that uh, you can put over top and cinch it up if you're worried about it falling out. That's really great. If you don't want to use it for anything, then you just zip it up, and it kind of compresses back down. Pretty cool. You have another pouch here on the side behind it. Now this, this is not a very deep pouch. This is very shallow. You can't fit uh, much in here, but you can fit a wallet. You can fit um, batteries or charging cables, maybe your phone, another key hook here. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, that's, before we get to the main compartment, keep working, work, work our way around the back. Uh, so we got the back here, we got the straps. <clears throat> straps are pretty comfortable. Um, and uh, it's got a really nice back padding. Uh, the V shape is nice because it allows airflow here. It kind of raises it up off your back a little bit. And it allows airflow here as opposed to being with one solid, uh, one solid pad against your back. The lumbar is nice and comfortable. One thing I wish that it had come with, which it did not, its big brother, the Trident 32 has it, is a padded uh, hip strap or hip, hip belt. Um, this just has a regular, not so padded uh, hip belt. Uh, which is okay. Now you can add it. You can add, um, there is a space in here. There's actually Velcro here, which Velcros in, if I can get it open, which would allow you to put in um, a padded hip belt. And I may actually uh, eventually order one and invest in one. The Trident 32 would be a little bit larger than I'd want for my purposes. And so that's why I'm going with the 21. Uh, but I do uh, I, I did try out the hip belt on the Ibex 26, and it's really, really great. Uh, you get extra straps or loops along the side for carrying other pouches, but it was just so comfortable. Being able to put more of that weight on your hips and your lumbar uh, just really reduces the, the shoulder strain if you're if you're doing a long hike, you know, like six to ten miles or so. Uh, it would really uh, help out with that, I believe. But this isn't too bad. Um, the, the lumbar, this this pad here is pretty good. Okay, so that's that's part of the back, uh, and then you have right here. We're gonna, we're gonna, you can fit a laptop in there, right? Um, I don't know if you see this. It's, it's designed for a couple of different things. You can fit a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro in here. It's tight, but you can fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro in here. And there is some, um, it's some sort of plastic uh, shield here that does kind of help add protection. Uh, you can also fit your water bladder in here, a large water bladder. And there are ports here and another port on the other side uh, for, for routing your hose. Uh, and there's a loop. There's a loop here that holds. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little loop that holds the um, 
holds the water bladder in. Or this is all hook and loop. It's a it's a it's orange hook and loop, and you would be able to use this for concealed carry. So if you've got uh, a holster, I don't do concealed carry these days. Uh, but if you if you if you do that, you can put a holster in there uh, with with Velcro uh, and, and attach it there and use this for your concealed carry. Um, so that's that's nice. Uh, but if you're carrying your laptop, this may be the place to carry it so long as it's uh, 13 inches and below uh, if you're going through the airport because it allows easy access. All right, so let's get around to the main compartment. And this is where, this main compartment is really what uh, I wanted this for. Um, let's make it look this way here. Okay, so if you open it up, now this is opened, this is now open as far as it'll go. It, it zips all the way down on this side. It zips only about a third of the way on this side. And it opens up. And inside of here, it's just, it's got so much hook and loop, um, and it's got these separators. So you can put all sorts of pouches in here to carry uh, various equipment. It comes with these dividers, and it comes with three of the dividers. I only use two, and I'll show you why. Uh, but I only use two of the dividers. Um, and uh, and then it's got this this laptop spot here. I'll show you the laptop. So you take my laptop, fits right there, and then it's got a little strap that holds it. Now mine's, this is a 13 inch MacBook. I think a 15 inch MacBook Pro would fit. It'll be tight, but I think it'll fit. It will not fit, a 15 inch would not fit in the other, the other pocket I showed you. Uh, so, so yeah, so it's got this nice hook and loop all over. It's got this, this pouch here for your, your laptop. Um, <clears throat> it's got up here, it's got a side, another side pouch uh, beyond the hook and loop, so you can put something here. And it's got one up here. Put something up in there. It's also got this mesh pouch right here. This is where uh, you can carry batteries, extra batteries, uh, adapters, carry your phone, wallet, uh, whatever. But it's really great. <clears throat> what I like most about this, and this is this is probably really what sold me on this one as my my uh, backpack for, for for carrying some camera gear once in a while, is when you've got this snap closed here. This right here acts as a door on the side. And I'll show you once I stuff this backpack full of gear, how easy it is to access it. So it acts like a side access door would for a regular camera backpack, but it doesn't look like a camera backpack and it allows for far many, you know, many more purposes other than, um, you know, camera gear. If you're a medic or somebody who needs to quickly access things, you can put little pouches in here and you just pull them out on the side without ever actually taking the whole backpack off which is, again, what I would, I would be using it for camera stuff, but, you know, other people may want to use it for, you know, accessing, a, you know, a medical pouch or, um, you know, some other supply. So it's really, really great. And then when you've got the snap here, this doesn't go all the way up, uh, all the way up and to allow everything else to fall out. Um, so that's good. So let's go ahead and stuff this with the gear that I've got, and I'll show you uh, why it's ideal for me. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to say, and I, I already mentioned this, I don't... Um, I'm not using all of their dividers. Uh, I've got a mirrorless camera system, and uh, so my lenses aren't that large, my camera body's not that large, and I, I felt that the depth of this, you can compare it to this, this, this large lens here, you see how it only goes up about maybe halfway, maybe two thirds of the way, so I didn't need the full depth. And the separators really weren't working for me, so what I did was I got an insert. This is an S zone insert, some, I don't know, some knockoff brand, uh, but I got it for $18, I think, on Amazon. And this is where I, what I actually use to hold my lenses inside of here. And that gives me access to uh, more space. So I take this thing, by the way, this is, the, the, the price on this was great. Uh, it's not the most well-built thing. It's not very rigid, but it works great in this backpack. So I take this and I stuff this in the backpack here. <clears throat> okay, that is, that is taking up two thirds of the height and two thirds, you can't quite see it, but two thirds of the, of the width so what I'm able to do, so now I actually have a spot behind it. I've got a spot behind it where I can take my, this is a hard shell case for my Video Mic Go, my Rode Video Mic Go. I've got a microphone in here and a couple extension cables. Hard shell, very nice. I can stuff this behind there. Okay, so now I'm now taking up two thirds of the height and the full, the full width. So that fits behind there. Canon. Uh, 55 to 200 millimeter lens. That would uh, potentially be on the camera, but I'll put it right there. Uh, 
this is my Canon 18 to 150 native lens. Um, we'll actually pretend that's on the camera. And uh, this is an 11 to 22 millimeter EFM lens, and that can go down here. I actually still have space too for if I wanted to carry a fourth lens, like a smaller lens, like my uh, 22 millimeter pancake lens, it'd fit right in there. And I actually still have a spot for uh, an ND filter if I really want to carry an ND filter there, if I want to jam it in there. Uh, but if I'm going hiking, uh, I'm probably going to take three specific lenses. Uh, if I'm going to like, do some sort of video while I'm hiking, uh, that'll be handled by the 11 to 22 millimeter. If I see some really cool nature shots, I've got my uh, my other lenses here as well. Uh, so this is really all I would need for hiking. So all the camera gear fits nicely in here, and then my camera. I'm using it right now, so I can't show you, but the camera would fit. It would fit nicely right in here with a lens mounted. It'd just sit right there, and I close that flap, and then when I need to open it, um, I can get to it. So that that is. Uh, Let's wrap up the camera stuff. Let's go ahead and throw my laptop in there. Let's, uh, I'm not going to hike with my laptop, but let's pretend we're going to the airport. So I can put my laptop in there. Fits nicely right there. Okay. All right, what else are we going to take with us? Um, let's, uh, let's, take my, let's take my hammock. Okay, so here's my hammock, my emo hammock. I love this thing. Stick that in there because we're going to sleep while we're taking photos. Of course... If I'm going to mount it to a tree, I need my tree straps. I don't have this contained very well, but I've got my my traps, my traps, straps for mounting it to a tree. Uh, and then uh, let's take my uh, Angry Birds uh, beach towel. That, that's helpful. So we fit the Angry Birds beach towel in there. It's getting a little bit tight in that spot, in that space there. But that will shut. That will shut. Don't worry. Just to the snap. Okay, so now we snap this. Snap this closed here. Get it. It's a bit, bit of a tight fit there. Okay. Close that. Access my camera. Okay, no worries there. I will say that beach towel is making it very tight. So uh, now I'm not going to carry a beach towel with me hiking. Uh, and I may probably not really carry my uh, hammock with me hiking, but I will, if I'm hiking, I will carry extra socks. Uh, I'll carry an extra shirt potentially, may actually carry extra underwear. Um, you know, who knows how sweaty I'm going to get. Um, but I would carry those things, and uh, those would all very easily fit in here. So let's flip it over. All right, so what else are we going to carry? We're going to carry a shemag, uh, just in case we want to um, keep some dust out. So I'll stick my shemag up here in this pocket here. I've got some uh, paracord. Uh, this is very handy paracord. You just never know where you need it. Uh, so it's handy to keep it with me uh, most of the time. Uh, I've got some cleaning gear. This has got a little blower in here. I've got a, a, a camera pen, you know, the, the, the brush pen. I've got some microfiber cloth and another brush. Stick that down in there as well. Uh, let's pretend that I got batteries handy. I'll stick the batteries in there. Those are easy, easily fit in there. Uh, let's go ahead and close that up. Okay, so again, normally I carry my, my Joby with me as well. Uh, it just depends on what I'm doing. But right now I'm just going to carry I'm gonna carry this um, this tripod, uh, this slick. Let's see if I can get this here. Okay, and then this. Okay, so my tripod's nice and secure there. Um, what I like about having all these hooks is that you can you can attach a carabiner uh, really anywhere you want. I think it's very helpful to have a flashlight somewhere handy. Uh, I would probably I probably hook that flashlight. So I'm going to hook that to. I'll hook that here on the side. Okay. Um, now this this admin pouch right here on the front. I would probably carry. I haven't really stuffed this for everyday carry, but I could probably. Uh, I I'll, will probably uh, throw some pens in there and various other uh, accessories. Uh, this is a large carabiner, and what I like about this, uh, I always carry extra carabiners because they're so helpful, especially if you get the paracord. If you get the paracord, carabiners, and you've got um, you know, a knife, a multi-tool of some sort, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, in emergency situations. But I like to put this here um, on the side, and this gives me side a side handle. Oh, that's one other thing I didn't mention. The handle on the top, the carrying handle, is super, super comfortable. It's nice and spongy and super soft. 
uh, very, very, very comfortable. But this gives me a side handle. It's easy for me to hold it and turn it from the side there. Uh, okay, so last thing, uh, let's pretend that this filled an extra water bottle. Um, and I already showed you, I still have my, uh, my water bladder in there. I'm just gonna clean it out and leave it in there. Um, but we'll pretend we have that filled as well. But it's a long hike, so we're gonna carry extra water. And yeah, just fill this up, stuff that in there. Uh, take this, this cable here, shot cord, and just uh, tighten it down so it doesn't fall out. And yeah, now we've got a full backpack. Not too heavy, not too bad. Now if I had water in there, it'd be a little bit heavier, but again, I've got a MacBook in there. Let's pretend that I've got my water bladder filled. I've got this filled. And then I've got my wife who came to say hello. Uh, I've got this filled. And uh, yeah, so let's throw it on. Let's see. Okay, so uh, it's pretty comfortable. If I've got a lot of weight in here, it's not gonna be super comfortable uh, for too long. Um, but that's just how it goes when you're carrying a lot of weight. So cinch these down. Uh, the lumbar support, it does help, puts it up on your on, on your lower back, so it's not uh, too heavy. But if you wanna access the lenses, um, this is what's cool, is you take that strap, get your arm out, and then you can pull it around here. And you know, I'm still, let's pretend that I'm standing, I'm still standing here. I've got easy access to my lenses. I've got easy access to my camera, I pull my camera out there. Depending on what you need, like maybe like a memory card or batteries. Actually, this is probably a really great place for batteries so you can quickly switch out batteries. Batteries can go here in this little pouch. Uh, when you don't need anymore, you can zip it up. Throw it back and run your arm through that loop. Fix the loop. And um, let me find the cords here. Okay, and you're you're good to go. You know you're back in business. You've got um, <clears throat> as far as carrying this thing, this is bungee. It's stretchy, so it fits nice and comfortable across here uh, for that support. And you got the waist belt. And you know, you've got a really nice camera backpack or a backpack that's uh, good for carrying camera gear, water, laptop, all that stuff. So really nice. I would say the heaviest thing in this is probably the laptop. Um, and I'm not gonna be hiking with the laptop. So it's really just gonna be like airport carrying around. So maybe a max of a mile total. Um, so I, I, generally I'm not gonna worry too, worry too much about the weight. Most of the weight's gonna come from water when I'm hiking. And you know, <clears throat> as I get further along, there's less water in there. This is where this handle. Okay, so there you have it. The Trident 21 from VanQuest. It's a really well-made pack. It cost me around $190. So it is a pricey pack, but it's very, very well-made. I believe it's got a 1000D um, fabric on the, on the bottom and then I think probably 500D. I don't know, you have to, you have to look it up to, to, be, uh, to be for certain. I don't, I don't really get too much into those uh, technical details. I look more at the practical usage side of it. And practical use, um, you know, with all this molly here, you can attach an extra pouch here. You can attach an extra pouch here uh, very, very easily if you needed uh, to carry more things. <clears throat> um, and uh, so, yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. I know that I'm going to keep this for a couple years for myself, at least uh, for my purposes. And I believe I'll be very happy with it. So uh, leave me some comments below uh, if you have some thoughts or um, you know, some contradictions or some... some uh, questions and I'll, I'll respond. If you haven't checked out the podcast yet, please do check us out. It's, uh, the Chasing Quality podcast. We're on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all the major podcasting platforms. We're not really talking about gear reviews. We just uh, talk about philosophy and, and, and theory and, and debate and discussion, things like that. Um, so, but until next time, uh, you keep chasing that quality because you know I will. Bye-bye.